Welcome back to new exercise water control valve. In this tutorial, we will make each and every part separately and we will do the assembly at the end. And also we will make the exploded view and make this simple animation in SOLIDWORKS. So here you will learn too many things in this tutorial. So let's make this beautiful tutorial. I hope you like it. So here let's start water control valve. You will see all dimensions are in inches. So first part is our outlet housing. This is our section view. In this section view, the, this front uh, flange is a little uh, different shape. So we will not make this front shaft, but this back flange we will make. And we will start from this taper, see 3.75 inch this diameter. You will see here depth. 0 0.06 inch, 63 inch, 45 degree, then these 2.7, the hole is 2.2 inch, the taper 12. Now these, there is one more diameter 3.625 inch, then there is a 45 degree taper and this overall length 0 0.065 inch and see bottom distance also is given. From here is 2.125 inch, from here it's 1.375. So let's make this and later we will make this side of flange. Now here we will start with, first we have to change unit, inches, then start with front plane, a sketch. Now I am going to start from here, do like this little taper, then there is a one taper shape like this, a little inside taper connect. Now connect with this, now hold shift key and select these two lines make construction geometry. Let's define, overall length 2.125 inch, if you want to see decimal 3. So you will easily see from here. Now let's apply diameters. If you move down see you will see overall diameter. So inside is 2 inch. Then let's top one 3.75. This depth 0 0.63, 0 0.063, then angle, angle also important, this angle 45 degree, okay, this one is near sort, sorted, now this one from here 2.7 inch, now this angle 12 degree, that's it. And uh, distance from here to, to here, vertical distance, 1.375 inch, okay. Let's apply this distance, 0 0.65 inch, these also same like uh, 0 0.063 inch, then uh, let's apply the angle. 45 degree, okay, it's uh, some relations happened here, that's why. Now this construction line and the vertical, it's 6 inch. Now this one, 3.625 inch. Now look, our drawing is fully defined. Activate revolver boss base feature. 
now here axis of revolution i am going to choose this center line look angle end condition blind and angle 360 degree so that we will get a full body say yes look now let's make this outer flange this depth is 0.65 inch okay and uh, here see uh, there is a hole hole size is here 0.525 inch four number of holes 45 degree from uh, center line then uh, these outer radius 2.5 means diameter 5 this inside for hole how much this inside for hole okay here 4.75 then the one millimeter this corner radius and these are the important 0 0.786 and this distance 1.575 1.574 let's see how to do this select this face a sketch now first let's make 5 inch then let's make 4.75 inch and click this one for construction purpose okay then let's let me draw center line continue to up to here Forty five degree. Okay. First, let us make a, th those outer holes zero point seven eight seven into two. Distance these whole distance from center one point five seven five. Similarly, this whole distance from vertical line, okay, by default it comes around because we already applied 45 degree something, okay, circular pattern. Now let me choose this hole and this line also so that we will get a perfect shape. Keep end condition uh, equal, equal space 360 degree, four number of instances we need. Rest keep as it is. Now here we selected our entities and this is the center point. Say yes. Now look. Center line. Now I want to connect these two points. because rest all going to trim i'll show you trim entity just power trim and trim this now activate line I am going to connect line to this, make sure it is vertical. Similarly, we will connect this point to here, make sure this line horizontal. Okay. Now the same similar thing we will again use circular sketch pattern. Now here pattern entities, let me choose these two four number of instances point means this center line already selected see here say ok by default trim entities let's try to trim the things
just press your uh, right uh, left mouse and drag and see it's going to trim but be careful which line you want to trim don't trim unnecessary lines see drawing is fully defined but it's still one thing balance now let's apply fillet keep 1 inch select this all corners there are eight number of corners which needs fillet and this fillet is 1 inch see okay cancel now that's the our geometry and this is finished okay let's add those holes for which we make a, this is the point because at this circle Zero point five two five. Select the all four holes, and you will see the relation constraint equal. Say okay. That's it. and select the center one convert entities extruded boss base feature now this one we need to extrude 0.65 inch say okay now let's make those holes there is you will see 4.075 inch four holes and that hole belongs to this bigger sharp all edges and holes 0.0 3 into 45 chamfer edges not corners corner these are the corners 0.06 uh, fillets and the inside see here 0.125 into 45 this inside fillets so let's make this okay now i'll do one thing show and i'll take this sketch convert entities because this is useful i'll choose this also convert entities these line convert entities now let's hide this two are for construction purpose 0.75 inch make circular pattern in constraint choose this line also so that you will get perfect shape four number of instances 360 and simply check equal spacing no need to do see this is fully defined a sketch now activate extruded cut tool now here mo more than one profile so you have to select all the four holes and end condition keep up to next so that it will cut only the back side of wall say okay chamfer here we choose angle distance 0.032 inch 45 degree pass this face then select all holes even these holes are also say okay again choose chamfer and this is 0.125 this is bigger so i am going to choose not edge i am going to choose this face so that it will select both end say yes now fillet fillet is 0.06 inch 
constant size fillet, symmetric. Now let me choose this inside edge and this inside edge. Say yes. Now our first part is ready. Let's assign this this color. Let me save this. Desktop create new water control wall and this is part one outlet housing. Okay. Now here let us make the part number two outlet housing. Oh, sorry, this is inlet housing actually, not outlet, this is inlet housing and uh, we will make with the help of outlet housing. The first, this flange is same, so we will make this flange with the help of previous flange, hole and everything is same here, see. Then there is a flange cutout, we have to make this edge because this is the our flange, see this one, 0 0.065, then there is a tapered part going to start from here. 2.75, 0 0.62, then this is tapered line here and this is 15 degree, we forget to mention the degree here, then R2 fillet, let us mirror this. So let us make first part with the help of this, second part, so I am going to choose this face sketch convert entity so the outer things converted even though I want to convert this inside hole hold shift key convert entity click extrude now this is also 0 0.65 but here you must uncheck merge result because we are going to make next second body, say ok. If you see, there is two body, one, two. Now let us de delete this body, even though we, we need this hole, so let us do further, ok. Let us draw first center line. Let me check the line and let us start somewhere from here. Let us uh, do some tapered and go back and see it will automatically convert into arc. Make sure this line construction, select these two lines, lines and arc, tangent relation, this is important relation. Now, this line vertical distance 2 inch, that is it, this one 3 inch, this one 0 0.62, sorry, undo, 0 0.62. This angle 15 degree. Two. And uh, the overall length 2.75. Now see the drawing is fully defined. Let me close from this end to end. Now again we are going to use revolve boss base feature. Now here axis of revolution we have to choose, I am going to choose the center line, you are going to see this and here make sure result is merged so that it is going to merge with this body, say 
end condition 360 degree say yes look now here we will make this back side flange 0 0.0, 0 0.65 inch 6 inch same thickness same hole also this hole position also same so we will just copy it from the previous model then we will create one plane 2.675 inch at the top and we will make this flange see this radius 0 0.5 then inside diameter 1 uh, this diameter we will make uh, later but uh, this one 0 0.95 1.32 20 degree this one and 1 millimeter from this space so let's try this select this face sketch now i'm going to choose this one let us say the outer edge convert entity similarly I am going to choose this hole convert entity select this insert hole convert entity now the last one inside hole convert entity and this is convert entity so we will get up our shape extruded boss base and 0 0.65 inch make sure it is merge result and condition blind and it's moving perfect direction say ok now look now let's delete this body so even if you find right click tabs and here you will find direct editing delete keep body so I will choose delete delete body select delete body so I am going to choose this body say ok now it is deleted now here you will see only one body so this one do not save it it is save as otherwise you will lose your first body this is out now this is inlet body inlet housing 2 save that is it now here we have to make a flange so let us make first top plane drop down menu plane and here 2.75 inch upward side ok sketch now here let us start the center hole 1 inch now let me make some line now activate dimension and this distance 1.32 inch one inch from this corner now again activate center tool circle tool and the corner radius 0 0.5 means diameter 1 inch then one more is small circle inside 0 0.38 inch now let us activate Okay, this is tangent at this point. So let us define the angle. It is 20 degree. Mirror entity, I am going to choose this mirror about this line. Say OK. Now, similarly, I am going to again choose mirror entity and now I am going to mirror this all about this word line say ok 
स्केच फिलेट 0.95 इंच एंड लेट मी चूज दिस एजेस सी आर ड्राइंग इज फुल्ली डिफाइन एक्सट्रूड वन टू थ्री इवन दिस सेंटर वन ऑल्सो जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एट एट बट मेक श्योर इट इज गोइंग डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो इट्स गोइंग टू कोलैप्स विद दिस फेस से ओके लेट मी हाइड दिस प्लेन लुक नाउ हियर वन सॉलिड बॉडी गोइंग टू कनेक्ट ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टॉप फेस and this okay you will find the center point 1.5 you will see this is fully defined this sketch now extrude make reverse and here i am going to choose up to surface and i am going to choose this surface see okay look if you found something missing here so edit let's check up to next okay this works fine up to next say okay okay that's fine now in previous sketch there is a hole so select the previous sketch extruded cut and in selected contour i'll choose this one and here i'll select up to next next means it's going to cut up to inside wall say okay look that's it now similarly the chamfer 0.32 032 inches so first we have to select all these holes even okay let's check those further say okay again chamfer 0.125 inch into 45 degree i'll choose this no they it is going to select inside also so clear and let's check edge one by one say okay because face won't work we don't want to apply any here thing here okay this edge also one point see this three and here also 0.08 fillet okay the uh, everything is applied here so edit previous chamfer and here add this edge because this is also considered edge not corner fillet 0.08 now let's select 1 2 and this 3 constant size symmetric simple now our inlet housing ready so just uh, add some other color and save because we already saved as before now here we will make the next part with the help of this flange because see this flange is similar to this flange exactly the same copy only the changes is thickness 0.043 inch so we will just mirror it see corner fillet also a uh, chamfer also 0.032 inch by 45 degree see this hole also the same 
chamfer everything is same. So, here we forget to apply the same fillet here. So, again edit and let us choose these faces also not the edge say ok save. Now, click on the top face a sketch convert entity see the thing is converted. Now, let us add internal holes the outer edge is chamfer edge. So, do not select outer edge convert entity extrude and this is 0 0.43 inch and here make sure unmerge result otherwise it is difficult. Now, here you will see two body see. Now, let us delete this body go to direct editing delete delete this body say ok. Now, this part save as part number 3 thermo state flange chamfer 0 0.032 inch 45 degree angle distance I will choose these edges say ok. Now, let us define this as a dark color something like this. Now, save this one that is it let us go to next part. Now, here the next part is ball wall sub the overall length 5.42 inch this outer radius this is a sphere r1 radius then there is a hole 1.5 diameter then at the top we have to cut a square shape like this 0.57 this width four number of instances depth 1.5 so let's make this in unit in inches front plane let me activate line tool activate circle tool and draw one half circle a full circle. Now, use trim entities and select power trim and trim some unnecessary things like this just left press and drag and it is trimmed. Activate the smart dimension the first one 5.42 inch. Now, this one half inch because diameter is 1 and these radius 1. Now, activate revolve boss base feature. Now, here axis of revolution I am going to choose this vertical line and you will see the preview angle 360 degree blind end condition say yes. Now, look now ok let us make a hole. So, I am going to choose right right plane or something like front even though front also enough circle. Now, we want to make a hole 1.5 inch escape key. Now, select this or select the outer edge hold shift key and this one and here make relation or co-centric ok this is fully defined sketch. Now, activate extruded cut tool here keep end condition through all both side you will see it is going to cut through all both side say yes look at the top a sketch now I am going to ok let us activate corner rectangle. Now coincide relation now these length 0.57 and it is it should be outside of this. So, any length is not a big deal 
x root cut. Now, depth is 1.22 inch. Say ok. Look. Activate circular pattern. Here direction. So, I am going to choose this one. Number of instances 4, 360 equal spacing. This is and here features we already selected. Say yes. Look. The shape is created. Now, for this, let us apply some brass. Okay, that is it. Now, save this one part. Desktop, where is our folder? Water control. Ball valve sub. Now, here the next part is lock lever. This is the main function of this part is to lock the lever handle. So, this outer radius 0.8 inch radius C. There is a one square 0.825 inch square. Okay. Then uh, this key type shape 15 degree this one, 45 degree the center one, R1. 0.75 inch, the corner fillet 0.125 and this rectangle fillet 0 0.04 inch and here also the hole 0 0.017, distance you will see 0 0.9, 0 0.075 inch and depth is 1, 0.175 and there is a chamfer 0.12, okay, let us do this. And this chamfer to this this one, this keyhole. So top plane is sketch. Now let's make one circle. Now that is 0.8 radius into two. Okay, this is in inches. Now let me activate some 45 degree. Now let's activate some center point R, this is start point and let us say I am going to start from here to here, escape, activate line tool and connect with this. Again press L key in your keyboard and activate this. Now hold shift key select these two and center line and leave shift and you will see symmetric constraint option you will see that is it. First define this 45 degree, now this one define 15 degree, these radius 1.75 inch that is it. Okay, they left the center point so uh, we have to connect with Linear, that's it. Now let's trim entities and trim this line, undo, activate center rectangle. Zero point eight two five press tap key zero point eight two five inch. Okay. Now let us make a hole also here zero point one seven smart dimension. Now distance the vertical length zero point three seven five. The horizontal distance 0.9 x root. Now the depth is 0 0.175 inch.
now I am going to click this end and fill it 0.125 inch and I am going to select these four edges ok now I am going to select inside edge again fill it and this is 0 0.04 inch say ok now the last thing is chamfer 0 0.02 and I am going to select the face 45 degree say yes save this is part number 5 lock lever now here the next part this is 0, 0.0 this is previous the next part is, is cap screw if you see cap screw overall length 1.625 the bottom rod diameter bolt diameter 0.375 head diameter 0.5625 and this flange diameter 0.683 inch then this width 0.75 and this collar 0.094 chamfer in both side it's see 0 0.038 inch then uh, there is one oblong cutout depth 0 0.25 0 0.313 inch so front plane is sketch now make sure you selected inches now let's draw now let's make this construction line so it is for us to define the dimension the outer distance 0 0.375 inch now this distance 0 0.683 inch now this distance 0 0.5625 inch if you want to see just change see decimal or precision so you will get the, those all points now these all defined now let's define overall length 1.625 inch 0 0.375 inch 0 0.094 inch now look our drawing is fully defined simply activate revolve boss base tool now this is not closed geometry so it is asking you would you like to sketch to be automatically closed because we have a sketch line say yes now see it automatically took this construction line as an axis of revolution and end condition defined here 360 degrees for full body look now at top sketch now here we have to choose polygon now select this horizontal and this diameter 0 0.313 inch activate extrude cut and this depth 0 0.25 now here we have chamfer 0 0.038 inch so this is our cap screw material let's say silver save this one part number 6 cap screw now here the part number 7 is bold 
length 1.64 inch gold diameter 0.5 inch now head diameter this collar diameter 0.965 then this head diameter 0.865 inch and this is the diameter 0 0.88 0 0.065 it's the cutout diameter here we have to cut out but before this cut out we have to extrude 0 0.365 collar width 0 0.125 and here also see this hexagon shape we can cut 0 0.42 okay let's try this first let's say front plane a sketch activate line tool and connect convert this line into construction so that it is for us to do our job click and if you move cursor out of this and you will see whole diameter so this diameter 0 0.5 inch now this diameter 0 0.865 inch now this collar diameter this is the bigger one 0 0.965 inch now this length 1.614 inch this width 0 0.65 inch 0 0.125 inch now this is fully defined sketch now it is asking you would you like to close the geometry because this is open say yes okay that's it sketch now activate line tool sorry let's activate corner rectangle and select the circle hold shift key and this point go inside distance this one 0 0.42 inch make sure it is out of the box it is a whatever you can make uh, it's just uh, extruded cut now here i am going to choose up to surface up to this surface say okay now activate circular pattern direction I'll choose any circular direction instances, six number of instances, 360 degree equal spacing. Say yes. Look. Now here we need to cut a circular shape. Look. Bottom distance 685, upper distance 0.88. And this is tangent to this line. And the bottom there is a chamfer 0.04. 5 8 inch so we have to choose which plane is suitable no not this front plane A sketch now activate line tool connect this to collinear and here choose three point R select this R hold shift key and this line tangent let's define center line distance this outer distance 0 0.88 now this point outer distance 0 0.685 0 0.06 
this is fully defined a sketch now go to feature and activate revolve cut now here axis of revolution this is going to be select 360 degree blind say yes look chamfer now here the chamfer is 0.0458 inch by 45 degree select this select the part 5 silver polished now save this one part number 7 hexagonal bolt now here the next part is handle this is the last part see the length is 8.85 now the width 1.5 inch now here the tip is 0 0.175 angle 2 degree now if you check here this bend radius 1.125 the top 2 millimeter this similarly here bottom 2 top 1.125 the angle of this tilt line 45 45 both side and this is the distance 1 and 1.25 this is the this curve distance from this outer edge 0 0.043 443 inch this is and the width is you will see 1 inch and here 0 0.07 we will cut at the once we create 1 inch then we will cut this one 0 0.75 and this full round fillet also full round fillet so let's try this inches okay now i'm going to start with this line make sure this is straight and let's do little taper line something like this don't make any relation let's make the outer edge first 8.8 inch now distance from here to bottom edge 1.5 this is 0.175 inch now let's little adjust these all things so that we will get a perfect job now this angle 2 degree that's it Now let's apply the angle, this is important, 45 degree, now this also 45 degree, that's it. Now this length 0 0.443 inch, this is important length, take little back, now apply a sketch fillet. 0. Point, not 0. Point, this is 1.125 inch this one and this one say ok now distance for from here to here 1 point two five for one okay now again activate sketch fillet this time we have to apply two inch this one and this corner say okay again sketch fillet now this point from here it's one inch now look our drawing take shape proper shape this is the R this is little difficult but you have to manage it extrude 
keep end condition mid plane and this is 1 inch okay select top face sketch now activate this line convert entity now again i am going to choose the line now let's define this line first 0.75 inch so what else we can do you will find midpoint of this line just move cursor hold shift key and midpoint of this line coincide that's the perfect thing activate extruded boss base command and uh, select here through all but we we want to cut outside flip side to cut say okay look inside remain and flip side outside is trimmed now let's make this okay the fillet is round full fillet then we have to make this circular 1.7 diameter we will make circle then we will cut see center distance 0.875 so we will use triangle and cut this then there is a hole square 8 to 5 inch so let's cut this also select a sketch and here you will find face fillet full round fillet first i am going to choose this second this third this rotate and this and you will see the preview say yes look now here let's make a activate circle tool start from mid and the diameter 1.7 activate line tool skip now trim entity power trim delete this that's it now activate revolve boss base feature now select this line as a axis of revolution angle 360 degree say yes look again i am going to choose fillet sketch now we have to cut this upper side corner rectangle and choose this line let's okay center line is missed so let's create one more outer edge and this corner go inside same this hold shift key outer edge and choose corner that's it now let's define the center distance 0.825 inch 82 sorry 82 875 inch look now let me show previous sketch construction line mid plane okay now hold shift key select these two line and this line leave and you will find option make symmetry and this one is for defining purpose do anything make sure it is out of the box out of the circle anything like activate extruded cut here choose through all both end condition say okay look now let me hide is sketch now here we have to make circle center rectangle now this rectangle is 
zero point eight two five inch tap zero point eight two five inch tap. If you want to see this, just increase tolerance or uh, decimal precision zero three numbers, and you will see. Now activate extruded cut. Keep end condition through all. Say yes. Now look. Now at bottom you will see this section view. There is a pin. The pin is here. This is one five and zero four length. Chamfer is zero point zero two into forty five degree. See here, and the fillet here also I am found zero point zero four, and the distance point nine from center. This center line zero point three seven five. And inside fillet zero point zero four. And uh, we already took this section view and fillet zero point zero six. Fillet constant sides fillet zero point zero six. I am going to choose this edge and this edge. And let's say this edge, not face. Say okay. Now let's make the pin. Let me hide this pin. Once we create pin, then we will make. Now let's make diameter of pin zero point one five. Distance point nine. Now the vertical distance zero point three seven five inch. Extrude zero point four inch. You will see. Now this chamfer zero point zero two inch, forty five degree angle distance. Okay, let's activate this fillet and see what will be happen. Okay, that's that's it. And again, fillet zero point zero four, and I'm going to choose this inside, and you will see this option. Click the first one, and you will see all four going to be select. Look. Now inside chamfer zero point zero three, then this inside fillet zero point zero four, and this is zero point zero six. This already we applied inside, and this outer corner also have fillet. Because already okay, zero point zero four, fillet zero point zero four. This edge and this pin inside edge zero point zero four. Okay. Now chamfer zero point zero three, and this out edge. This is actually zero point zero point zero six, not zero point ten. Okay, that's look good. That's it. And 
this should be full red color. Now let us save this one. This is the part number 8 handle. Now let us start assembly. Now here we are going to start the assembly of water control wall. So both the parts we will fix from like this, then we will fix the bolt. Then this flange, uh, thermostat flange fixed here and this is the cap screw. Then the fourth one is uh, ball wall sub, then handle, then this pin. File, new, assembly, okay. Now the first part is, we will say, uh, inlet housing. Now you want to fix just drop down and here choose origin, view origin and move cursor near origin and see it is fixed there. Okay. Now hide. If you right click and see it is fixed, that is why it is asking you float. So let us keep one part fixed. Insert component. Let me change from here like big, open, now let us insert activate mat tool. Now I am going to choose these two holes, so, so that this is in co-centric relation, okay. Now select this one and this hole, co-centric relation, okay. Now still there is one relation, see, I will choose this face and this face, coincide relation, coincident, okay. Now this wall, this part is fixed with this, insert component and let us insert bolt, here you have option rotate component, so you can take the shape or position. Okay, met. Now, first I will choose this face and this hole. Co-centric relation. Okay, this face, face of bolt and face of this housing coincident. Okay, now I am not going to make for all, there is one tool called copy with met. Let us select the component, see, here select next. Now let us create two relations. The first is hole, second is this face, see, say yes. Similarly, select this hole and this face, see, it is come here, say okay. Let us repeat for all the holes, first hole and this face. It's appeared here. Say OK and cancel. So all four bolts we fixed here. See. Let's insert component. Uh, let me hold con control key. Select these two parts. Open. Two. Mat. Now I will choose this hole and this rod ball wall, co-centric relation, okay, just drop down inside. I will choose inside wall and this one and there is a relation going to be create tangent, say okay, look. Similarly, this one and this one co-centric relation, okay, so this hole and this hole, co-centric relation, okay, back side of this flange and this flange, coincident relation, okay, now this flange is fixed. Now let us insert remaining parts, insert component, 
होल्ड शिफ्ट कंट्रोल की दिस टू पार्ट लॉक एंड हैंडल फर्स्ट लेट्स डू फॉर दिस मैट ओके लेट्स आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई दिस वॉल थ्रू दिस गो इन साइड दिस वॉल टू दिस वॉल को इंसिडेंट रिलाइजेशन ओके नाउ दिस फेस to this face coincident relation that's perfectly fixed say okay now let's see we can rotate the ball similarly let's apply this choose here mat clear all the things and i'll select this face and this inside okay let's take upside this side face and this side face now it's going to fix inside now let's fix the pin select this pin and this concentric relation okay select this face and this face coincide relation okay if you check see the bolt is exactly near to the body but it is not touched to the body say okay now see our wall is ready insert the last component cap screw mat i'll choose this hole and this bolt concentric relation okay select this collar face and this flange face coincident relation cancel activate copy with mat select this bolt next select the hole and select this face say here automatically selected say okay and cancel now see the ball wall is fixed see if you want to move something like we can fix the limit here so that it won't go beyond this limit let me save this assembly rebuild and save the document wall control water con water control wall assembly so this is how we made a assembly of water control valve now uh, if you want to fix this one at center so there is one way just choose the proper plane front plane and uh, inlet housing front plane hold control key and here you will see option mate even though you can directly click mate see it is both going to be parallel see say yes cancel now it is fixed zoom now if it is not going to move now let's make exploded view for this now here select exploded view now first is you have to add step so this is regular step what things we are going to explode first we have to add this bolt so i am going to select this all four bolts just rotate okay now the next thing is direction 
reverse direction or which direction then then there is extruded distance so we will do it manually so that uh, and uh, here degree of rotation this we won't do anything for this just rotate move okay zoom to fit now here the step is done so click done once you select done you have option to click this move say done again this is step selected so now i am going to choose handle and explode top side say done click zoom to fit now the next thing is what let's say bolt both the bolts zoom and move near to this again click here done because all the steps whatever you are going to do it's going to record it here if you want to edit just simply click and edit okay so it's done now what next pin drag upside say done then this thermostat flange say done now this bulb now there is not much step so step 4 step 3 if you click step 3 you have option to expand more then done then choose step 4 little more step 5 little more and then step 6 just drag this upside that's it now here choose done now next click this ball wall ball see and done say okay now if you check we have here right click and select smart explode lines you will see all the lines are here say okay look zoom to fit is perfect now right click collapse right click animate collapse explode now see it's going to explode all the things now here is the things just pause now right click toolbar motion manager go to motion manager here here choose basic animation now just okay let's start with this animation wizard explode next now how much you want to keep this 7 minute okay let's say 7 minute start time 0 finish again choose animation wizard collapse next 7 minute but start time let's say 8 second finish now here choose calculate now this is going to be if you want to play now see
simply you can save this assembly also here save assembly now choose your file destination file name avi file let's say mp4 file and here respect ratio 16 by 9 and 60 frame per second and uh, that's it let's save would you want to replicate yes recalculate yes once you select recalculate it will again recalculate from start to end it will explode and collapse and it will save in your file destination i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching